with the likes of guys over the years, like whether it was Corey Underlin or Marquand Manuel, not necessarily fitting the bill when it comes to their positional coaching. Um, now that the Jim Schwartz era of being a D coordinator is over with new guys in the building, uh, the DB coach we have now, it seems that he is taking an aggressive but fundamental approach when it comes to his players. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is going on, everybody? Lindy end zone in the building. I'm here for the touchdown, taking the lead for the Eagles one video at a time. Yes, sir. Got another video for y'all today. We are going to talk about our new defensive backs coach, Denard Wilson, over from the New York Jets. Um, as we as we know, the, the Eagles and Jets somewhat made a uh, a coaching switch exchange uh marquan manuel is now over there as a safeties coach and in and i guess in quote unquote return we get denard wilson um we're going to be reacting to some of the questions that uh the questions and answers that stuck out to me in his presser today um i like what he i like what he brings to the table you know from a mindset perspective and an experience perspective uh he's worked uh, you know, most notably as of recent, you know, for the Jets, um, working with, you know, working with a guy like Jamal Adams, um, you know, that, that kind of uh, experience with a, you know, with a uh, player like that. Well, hopefully we can uh, allow some of those teachings to rub off on some of our guys. Um, he did, he did end up talking about Avante Max a little bit and, uh, you know, putting him, uh, putting him in the best position uh, to where they see fit. Uh, you know, he mentioned spots like the safety position and, uh, you know, uh, the nickel spot didn't really hear. I, I didn't hear the outside. So that may be a, that may be a good sign for now that we didn't hear the outside when talking about Avante Maddox, cause uh, we all seen it. He doesn't work on the outside, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, Time will tell in that regard, but I got a couple of us uh, uh, timestamps mentally saved in the uh, back of my head here that I, you know, that I, I want you guys to uh, uh, react to uh, from what I caught from this presser that I felt that were, um, you know, in, uh, important to uh, think about here in terms of um, specifically the safety position. And we had some good questions regarding the CB2 spot that, you know, is the biggest question in the secondary right now. Like, who is going to be Slay's partner? Who's going to be on the other side of Darius Slay? And uh, I, I think Denard really goes into it very well, um, you know, in this in this presser. And we have a and we have a good idea on, uh, you know, the kind of coach that he's going to be for this football team. So uh, let's get into uh, two of these parts here. And, uh, you know, uh, I want to know what you guys have to uh, say to Denard's answers. Hi, Martin Frank. Hi, Denard. Nice to meet you. Hey, hi, boss. The, uh, the safety position, you know, there, there's not a lot of uh, experience there beyond the starters. And, of course, you know, uh, Rodney might not be able to – Start the season coming back from that knee injury. So, in that, if that's the case, you know you have Anthony Harris, but he's coming from another system. How, how important is it going to be? You know, will he be, especially if if Rodney uh, can't start the season? Well, I look, I look at this whole position, that whole room, the safety group, that whole room, the safety group. Man, every, it's all hands on deck. Okay, Anthony has played. A lot of other guys have played sparingly. When we get back, man, who? Who's going to do the job at the best of their ability? Who's going to be productive? It, it'll shape itself out. All right, Anthony's good. He's good for the room. Rodney's good for the room because they have played a lot of ball in this league and have, have had success. But we got a lot of young guys that's hungry that, that that actually want to get on the field and produce. So, you know, if Rodney's out, all it, all it does is just create more depth. Guys get more reps. Guys get better. You learn by doing. You learn by being out there. And that's, that's what we're going to ask them to do. The best man will end up playing. And then 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's the best thing that that's one of the best things that I can take out of that is uh, him talking about that, you know, that the best that the best man is going to play. Um, next section here, I want us to uh, I want us to, uh, you know, take a look at the next time step that I'm going to bring up on screen here. If I can, if I can remember it off the top of my head, I think it's um, around the 548 mark. So it's different. You have guys as big, guys as small. Just put a, a certain type of player there. I mean, they your ideal. Like um, that corner opposite Slay. Uh, what are you looking for there? What would your ideal guy be uh, in that that spot? I don't think you can. Uh, you could put a uh, just put a, a certain type of player there. I mean, they everybody has a different skill set. Um, if you look around the league. Every corner is different. You have guys as big, guys as small, guys as you know more explosive out there. Break. Look, what we're trying to do now, especially this off season, we worked on technique and fundamentals. All right, we worked on just the nuances of the game. All right, understanding where you're supposed to be, leverage, understanding break points, understanding stems. Whoever comes in and put it all together, because it's open competition. Whoever comes in and put it all together, that's what you're going to see out there on Sundays. All right, so right now, and I can't tell you, I'm looking for a specific thing. I think we have talent on this roster. I think guys, is, we need to get the talent out of them. Uh, a lot of them go out there and produce. But it's no, it's no specific. I've played with all type of corners. Um, it's not a specific skill set, body. It's just whatever they do well, they got to do well all the time. And if their body allows them to play the deep ball, that's what they got to do. If they're a quicker, faster guy, they got to win on quick and fast uh, breaking routes. So, it's, it's not one specific player, not one uh, specific attribute. It's who can put it all together and, and, and play smart, intelligent football and be productive. You did it. Stupid, <laughs> stupid advertisements. As soon as I get into a, as soon as I get into a discussion here, they decided, they decided not to show an advertisement when I'm trying to, go through this they decided not to but uh i'm gonna try and get i'm gonna try and get through the advertisement as it's as it's going along but uh no i i completely i completely agree to um you know what denard is talking about here i, I mean yeah he he's got a he's got a point when you know he's got a point in terms of um you know a certain like there's there's really no like it, there's almost really no certain like size or you know that like that kind of a skill set to be you know an an outside corner like there like there's no there's no blueprint to it and it's uh you know he he really he really um he really brings up the the fact that it coming down to it, it coming down to uh technique and who the and who they feel that uh the best guy at the end of the day they're gonna put out there um yeah of course i i mean yeah, some. I mean, yeah, for some taller corners, their height is going. They're, you know, they're going to use their height and their length to their to their advantage. But if you know, if they don't have technicalities down or you know fundamentals down, and uh, you know, to be able to stay with a receiver in their route, then you know, then that's and at those at those points, that's where they're going to ultimately suffer. So. Um, <laughs> Since the advertisement's over, thankfully we're gonna get into the uh, we're gonna get into the next part of um, you know the question continued from Les Bowen here, and then I think we're gonna get into the one that was asked by John McMullen. No way to say the guy that wins this job will be able to play. No, the guy that wins this job is gonna be the, the best the best guy for us to go out there and compete and win. John and then Zach Berman. Hey, Bernard. Nice to uh, meet you virtually. Uh, yeah. To kind of follow up on, on Wes's question a little bit, um, just from a skill set standpoint, not, not a player perspective, is it is it more difficult for for somebody who doesn't have length to play outside versus inside as it, in, in your experience, or, or does it come down to technique and fundamentals? I mean, I think it always comes down to technique and fundamentals, just like anything you do. I mean, as a person or anybody in life, you're not going to be great at everything. So the deficiencies you, deficiencies you have, you got to work on. So guys that are diligent and working on those deficiencies, they can mask them, they can hide them. 
from a scheme standpoint or from a coaching standpoint, you can put those guys in positions to match those things as well. But it all comes down to this, and it comes down to eyes, technique, and fundamentals. And one thing that I'm not going to compromise for or two things is effort and toughness. So if they can do that, they can put it together, they look at the right things, they communicate, they're where they're supposed to be when the ball's in the air, when, when they run the ball, and they attack the ball with violence, they give them a chance to play. I love the mentality, guys. I love the mentality that he's bringing here. He he wants his cornerback room to be aggressive. Uh, how I, I mean, it, it was often enough that we didn't see that under a Jim Schwartz ran defense where, um, you know, we've constantly complained about our corners having their back to the quarterback, not locating the football, especially as, and a lot of these times it was especially in red zone situations where, and yeah, there's, yeah, I, I get it. Um, you know, it's it's almost like it, it's almost like that mentality of having eyes in the back of your head, and if if you turn your head like too soon or too late, like you know the timing has to be perfect, and um, you know like if you turn too soon, you're going you're you're going to lose your you're going to lose your man, and it's just going to be easier for him to catch the ball because it's like it's like you give up your your assignment in that respect, but. Uh, but no, I, I mean, it it, it it just goes it, it just goes to say, in my opinion, that I, I love the I, I love this uh, mentality. He you know he brings up eyes, technique, and fundamentals. Like um, you know, how many times has uh, Avante Maddox referenced to that? You know, especially in his recent conference, talking about like that eye discipline. Um, I I love every I, personally. I love everything I'm hearing from. Uh, Denard. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is the, I think this is the right attitude going forward, um, you know, as a change with a new defensive coordinator to try and get our DB room with our secondaries on a better page than they were playing under Jim Schwartz. And um, yeah, I, I think we're, I, I think we're in a good shape so far with, um, you know, the, the mentality that Denard Wilson is bringing to this DB room, and uh, you know, hopefully he can unlock some of these guys, and we'll see a uh, better play out of you know out of some players that you know we're we're kind of looking for out of um, you know in you know improvement with Darius Slay, um, you know, seeing where Avante Maddox is, uh, Zach McPherson, Michael Jaquette, uh, guys like that, you know trying to figure out what we have in Josiah Scott, you know, those kind of players. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for the, I'm excited for that potential. And, uh, you know, I, I love Denard uh, Wilson's attitude in this whole thing going forward. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments on uh, some of those questions and answers. Uh, what I picked out from this press conference with uh, Denard Wilson on their, on the reaction video. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, you, if if you think that uh, he is poised to do a better job than guys like Corey Underlin or Marquan Manuel, or are we going to see another? Or are we going to see another coaching change in the future? Somebody has to stick. I just hope that somebody sticks and you know and and gets and gets some of these guys playing at a higher level. But that's going to do it for this video, everybody. Appreciate y'all once again sticking around. This has been Lindy Enzone. You already know the deal. Fly goes flyer. Bleed green. Take care, and I will see you next time.